Now as a bonus, for your students, give the creativity project for them to make an arcade prefab. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and close our room. And I'm just going to go ahead and do an object. Empty. And I'm going to call it arcade game. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and do a cube. And it's way over there. So let's put it like here. So let's just play with this cube. And I'm going to do it from the side. So let's say 10. Or let's say 5. Now 7. I'll stick with it. Let's say 7. And the width, let's say five for the height, actually a taller seven works. Let's say five. So there we go. It's gonna be our base. And what I'm gonna do is duplicate that and then simply drag it up. Now I'm going to scale that in. I'll, I'll scale in this and we'll move it back like that and then I will again duplicate this drag it up and we'll first let's scale it down so it'll be like that and let's scale it out again this should be 7 because that was the width of the bottom so now if we go up a little, now I'll put it at the top, and I want to scale this down. So it's like a top, like that. Let me drag that. And then there's kind of our standard structure. Looks like an arcade game. And we can colorize it if we want. So I want this one to be green. I'll go ahead and color it green. So this is kind of your base area. So now, same deal, uh, we want to make a controller, we need a screen, so I'm just going to right click on this, I'm going to make a plane, because we want to put some posters on this, right? And I'm going to rotate this up, so this is going to be negative 90. And let's put this is going to be my, um, this is going to be my screen, so you can see it there, now I just need to scale it, let's scale it up, and let's move it into place, uh, say like that, and scale it a little bit more, a little bit more and there we go so that's going to be our kind of our screen right um, we're going to go ahead and put some around all this so this I'll go ahead and call this screen and I'll duplicate that and what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag that down and bring it on out. That'll be in the front, just like that. And let's, let's call this uh, poster front. And I'll duplicate this again, and I'm going to. I'm going to pull this up because it's going to put it at the top as well. Oh, let it come up a little bit. And let's scale this down. So we're going to have a top. And then move this up. And zoom in so we can make sure. Scale it. And let's move it up. So we 
Got that. Kind of like that. And let's see, is it on? Yep. So that's those. And this is poster, let's call that poster top. And then let's do some posters for the side and then we will add in our, and this poster is a little bit not centered so I want them to be like that. And a little bit up. So let's duplicate this, bring it out, and I'm going to rotate it so it can be on the side. So that means this Y is going to be 90. And then I can go ahead and I know I want it to go a little longer, so I'll scale this one out like that. And this is poster side, side one, and then I'll duplicate that. Then I can move this over here. And we don't want the back showing, we want to flip this. So if I go to my rotation, drag it this way, you see it's going to negative 90. And I'll drag that in like that. All right, so let's add some posters on the side. So let's just say this is Pac-Man. So I'll drag this one on here, on here, on here. Now I have an issue because it's like not straight. So now I have to fix these guys. Let's just go ahead and rotate them. So I'll rotate this this way. You can see this is going to be 90. And then now I just need to scale it. So I could scale that in like that. Scale it up like that. I probably should have done that first. That way I could have just rotated all of these. Duplicated them. So now this is again going to be... This will be 90 as well. And then we should be good there. And this should be 90 as well. And we should be good. So we kind of got like a Pac-Man kind of deal here. And on the top, let's go ahead and put another. I guess we can leave it. Let's put it a color, a different color. Like that. Or you could put some more stuff into there. So very close to being done. So now we have our, we have a little controller we want to build. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this screen. Again, I'm going to pull it out and we're going to rotate it. And we want to go back. So that's going to make this go down to zero. There we go. And now I want to scale this guy in. It's going to be our controller board color go ahead back and I'll pull this down and I'll pull this out like that so now this is kind of our controller board so let's, again, let's make it a different color. It'll match that up there. And instead of saying screen one, this is going to be my
controller. So inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and make a spear. Pull that spear up. And we need to make that spear more round. So let's pull this guy out. Uh, not. Alright, so it's pretty. Let's see. No, that's good. Alright, so now that we have our little, we're going to make them smaller. And this is going to be kind of our controller, our joystick. Put that there. I'll call it joystick. And on my joystick, I'm going to add in a cylinder. Again, I will scale it in. I want it tall, though. I do want it kind of slim. Again, I'll pull that to the bottom. Now let's scale this guy up. Oh, there. That's decent. I kind of like that. So now I have my joystick. I can put anywhere I want. And when I look from far, you can see it kind of looks like a joystick. Now let's do some buttons. So on our controller, I'll go ahead and do some more spears. That's a good location. So then I'll come up and let's scale it like that. And I'll flatten it. And I'll just make it black like that. So this will be here. Let's give it a little bit more bounce. Actually, you flatten a little bit more. And then I will duplicate that and bring it up and just scale it in like that. And color it the same color. And there we have our button. Bring it up a little bit more so it kind of jumps out. So now I'll put this in here and I'll call this button one. And I'll duplicate button one. And let's say we have four buttons there. So I'll duplicate these. So I got four buttons. There we go. And I got my joystick. I'll put my joystick a little bit further. So I'm gonna scroll out. There we go. Now if I wanted I could actually download a picture of Pac-Man and put it on this plane and it would look more realistic. I could also put words here, call it Pac-Man. But that's a pretty decent arcade game with some basic 3D objects. I'm going to go ahead and make my prefab. There you go. <clears throat> and then with that, we want to add some more into our room. So it's pretty big. Actually, let's move it back to the wall. And let's put it in between the posters so it doesn't cover up the posters. And it's floating right now, so we don't want that. We want it to sit on the floor. There we go. So, got that. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this guy. Pull him over here. And do we have enough space? I'll move this over. And move you over. And move you over. That way no one's cutting anyone off. We got two there, and let's put another one. And this is still not on the wall. There we go. And let's make sure this guy's on the wall. And 
There we go. And for this guy, I might want to change it up. So let's add in Donkey Kong for this guy. Let's make this one blue, or let's make this one red. So let's color this one red, and then I'll make these yellow, and I'll make the buttons a different color. Oops, that black, but I want the buttons like that. So again you can play with your kind of materials if you're doing these guys and there you got a red instead of being like that yellow let's make that green. Or let's make it blue. Yeah, blue stands out against the red. Actually, I probably want to do a blue. Uh, I think that looks even better, adding in that blue like that, and then making this maybe green. Yeah, there we go. Something different. So, there we go. Let's add in one more. So I could duplicate this or I could simply drag one out and I'll drag one out I'll put it ugh. drag one let's put it right there but obviously I don't want it facing there I'll put it down here I want to rotate it so let's drag the middle rotate this looks like it's going to do negative 180 which put it on the outside but when I bring it in, you can see it shows up. And I could have wanted to put it on that wall. Actually, it, it gave me two, so I'll delete this one. And I'll move this other guy down here on this wall. And you will be teal. Or should we be pink? We have a green, we have a blue. Let's make you teal. There we go. And we'll make, make it bright green like that. And this would be this poster. And with that, you now have learned how to make just a simple looking arcade games. This one, the teal is there, so I might do like that to give it a different color. A simple arcade prefab that you're going to use inside of our whack-a-mole game. Go ahead to the next video.